Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome back to Podcastage. Today I'm back with another edition of the Versus series. The microphones we're comparing today are the Universal Audio SD-1 against the Music Villa MV-3, which are two dynamic microphones that come out of the same factory and use a lot of the same components. So let's talk about the build quality very quickly, and then we will jump into the tests and the comparisons. As far as the build quality, they are nearly identical. They both have an all metal body. They both use the same yoke mount, although the nuts on the mounts are different. The MV3 is plastic. The SD1's nuts are going to be metal. On the rear of the mic, everything is identical. XLR port, high pass filter, presence boost. The foam on the MV3 comes off extremely easy, so it may fall off inadvertently, while the foam on the SD1, you really need to want to take it off and get your nail in there to pry that off. Once we remove the foam, the grills are quite different. The MV3 is a very thin mesh, while the SD1 is much more durable and similar to that of the SM7B. And then for good measure, here are some close-ups of the capsules. To my eyes, they look identical. And if we look at the numbers on the side of both capsules, they do appear to be the same. So I'm going to say both these mics use the same capsule. And now let's jump to the audio comparisons. All right, we're going to start with something that I haven't done before, and that is a blind microphone comparison. Currently, you are hearing microphone A, three inches off, gain at 100%. And now you are hearing microphone B. Again, I am three inches off. My gain is at 100%. The EQ switches on both microphones are set to neutral. Again, here is microphone A, so you can hear how this sounds to see if you like this better. And here is microphone B, so you can hear how this sounds in the neutral mode again and determine if you like this one better. And again, because third time's a charm, here is microphone A one more time so you can get a really good feel for it. And here is how this mic sounds. And here is microphone B one more time so you can get a really good feel for it before we do the massive reveal, which will be done in 3, 2, 1... Microphone A was the Music Villa MV3, and Microphone B was the Universal Audio SD1. Which one did you like better? Let me know in the comments down below, and let's move on with the video now. Now let's talk a little bit more about the microphones. First up, we have the Universal Audio SD1. This costs around $300. It has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 Hz to 16 kHz, a sensitivity of around negative 58 dB, and an impedance of 200 ohms. Then we have the Music Villa MV3, which goes for $175. The specs look very similar. It also has a cardioid polar pattern, a frequency response of 50 Hz to 16 kHz, a sensitivity of around negative 58 dB, and an impedance of 200 ohms. Now I am spinning around the UASD1 to 90 degrees so you can hear the off-axis rejection and coloration. Continuing around the microphone to 180 degrees, hear what it sounds like from the rear. Then we will rotate around to the second 90 degree angle, and then we will rotate and end at the front of the microphone. And now we have the MV3 moving around to 90 degrees, so you can hear the off-axis rejection and coloration. Continuing around the microphone to 180 degrees, here you go. Continuing around to the second 90 degree angle, there we go. And then rotating and ending at the front of the microphone. Now I am speaking on the Universal Audio SD1 and typing on a keyboard with Gatoron Blue switches to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. And now I am typing on the Music Villa MV3 while typing on a keyboard with the exact same switches to see how much of my voice versus how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the UA SD1 and here's how it's sounding. And now I am right on top of the MV3 so you can hear the proximity effect on this thing and here's how it sounds. About one foot away from the Universal Audio SD1 and one foot away from the Music Villa MV3. 
about two feet away from the SD1, two feet away from the Music Villa MV3, and four feet away from the Universal Audio SD1, and four feet away from the Music Villa MV3, and here is how it sounds. Now I'm going to engage the switches on both microphones so that we can hear how they sound. First, we'll start on the Universal Audio SD1 in neutral mode, and here's how it sounds. Now I am on the Music Villa MV3 with the EQ settings in neutral, and here's how it compares to the SD1 in the same EQ setting. Now I've turned on the Presence Boost on the SD1, and here's how it sounds. Now I've turned on the Presence Boost on the MV3, and here is how this microphone is sounding. Now I've switched on the high pass filter on the SD1 with the presence boost disengaged and here is how it's sounding. Now I've turned off the presence boost and turned on the high pass filter on the MV3 and here is how this is comparing to the Universal Audio SD1 in the same EQ setting. And lastly, this is the SD1 with the presence boost as well as the high pass filter engaged and here is how it's sounding. Now we have the MV3 in probably my least favorite setting of every single microphone, inbuilt presence boost and inbuilt high pass filter engaged, and here is how this sounds. That is the quick test and comparison of the EQ switches on both microphones. I also want to see if there's a difference in handling noise, so I'll tap on each of the microphones and handle them to see if there is in fact a difference. Are these mics at all the same? Or do they differ at all? Do they differ at all? Are these mics at all the same? Or do they differ at all? Do they differ at all? I can tell you just by listening to them briefly while recording, Yes, they are different sounding. They may have similar components, but they do not sound the same. They are different sounding. But let's go to the conclusion. And the winner of this Versus series, drumroll please, is the Universal Audio SD-1. Now, although the microphones, the SD-1 and the MV-3, do use the same components, the sound quality that I hear is significantly different, so those components appear to be implemented and finished very differently. Now let's dive a little bit deeper on my opinions. On the electric guitar, I think the Universal Audio won out. That's because of the added top end on this microphone compared to the MV3. The MV3 is workable, it's just a bit dull and dead sounding. The UA adds a lot more top end, and it gives me a bit more of that aggressive sound, which is something that I like on the electric for more punk, metal, or overdriven sounds. On the acoustic guitar, I don't think there was any competition. The Universal Audio won out again. The MV3 just sounded dead and dull and boring, and you can see how easily that just flies off. I just bumped it, and the foam just went flying. But 
It sounded dull and dead and uninteresting and boring. The SD1, on the other hand, has a lot more extension and a lot more focus in the treble and air, especially for a dynamic, so it makes the acoustic much more lively, much more exciting, and much more interesting. So the SD1 was the pick no competition. Next up for singing, again, I preferred the SD-1 over the MV-3. Yes, the MV-3 can absolutely work if you want that darker sound, but out of these two microphones, I just preferred the brighter, more articulate, more modern sound of the SD-1. And finally, for spoken word, I think that for this application, it is much more of a toss-up. I would personally be okay with either of these microphones because I do also really like darker microphones for spoken word, but out of these two microphones, again, I do think that I personally prefer the SD-1 because it does give you a little bit more articulation and a little bit more clarity compared to the MV-3. There you have it. That is my comparison of two microphones that come out of the same factory and seemingly use the same components. As soon as I got pushback, as soon as I got those comments, I bought every single microphone that I could. I got the Music Villa MV3, the Advanced Audio DM7 on the way, and then the Toman BC500, but that won't ship for maybe two and a half months. So once I get all of them, I'll do a full comparison as well, but I had to do it. I had to compare them to see if it was just a plain rebadge if they took this microphone and slapped their logo on it. And I guess that is kind of the case, because the Universal Audio is using the same capsule, same body, same yoke, as a microphone that is $125 cheaper. But if I didn't know that these microphones came out of the same factory and used the same components, based on the sound alone, I would not guess that they are the same microphone. So they have done something different. They've implemented the components differently to get a different sound, and in my opinion, make a slightly better sounding microphone than the Music Villa MV3. Is it worth the additional $125? I can't tell you that. That's for you to decide if you think that additional sound quality is going to be worth the additional price. But to beat a dead horse out of these two microphones, I did prefer the Universal Audio. There you go. That was my first Versus series in maybe one and a half years. Long time coming. Let me know in the comments down below what two microphones you want to see in a head-to-head -head matchup. And if you see a matchup that you like, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know people want to see that. And maybe I'll do one in the near future because I really enjoyed doing this instead of just doing another review. This is much more fun for me. I don't know why I don't do these more. I'm stupid, I guess. It just doesn't make any sense, but that's all that I've got for you today. So if you found this video fun, interesting, or helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hated it, big ol' thumbs down. These people over here are amazing. They are wonderful, wonderful human beings. And you can be one of them too by joining for $5 down below on that join button or patreon.com slash podcastage. I'll talk to you in a week or earlier. I don't know. Bye-bye.